So let's take another crack at finding the inverse function. My original function f of x equals x cubed plus 1. And what that's doing is it's taking some value of x, cubing it, and then adding 1 to it. Well, we need a function that takes x, subtract 1, and then take the cube root of it. It undoes what we originally tried to do. And so the procedure for doing that was rewrite it as y equals x cubed. Interchange the variables, x equals y cubed plus 1, and then solve for y. Take the cube root of both sides, so I have the cube root of x plus or x minus 1 equals y, and then writing that in inverse notation gives me the inverse of x equals the cube root of x minus 1. And I hope that you can see the similarities of why that is the inverse function of the original one. Because again, the original function cubed the x, then added the 1. Now we need to find something that takes away a 1, then takes a cube root of that. And that's what we have, and therefore we found the inverse function.